Hello to all my favorite Sea Life kids. I have something to tell you, but it's a secret, okay? I'm gonna whisper it to you, so come a little closer. Come on, come on so you can hear it. Are you ready? This is super important. Today is Mother's Day. <gasps> that means you should go give your mom a great big hug and a kiss, okay? Do that now, mark, set, go! Go give her a big hug and a kiss. Yeah, that's so fun, yay! I'm so glad God gave us our mommies. Our mommies love us so much. Today we're gonna learn about a man who loves someone a whole lot because we're learning to live like Jesus. We learned last week that Jesus wants us to be like a light. We want to shine the light of Jesus to everyone around us. Oh wait, that makes me think of our memory verse. Everybody stand up and let's say hi to Miss Kylie. She's gonna come help us do our memory verse, all right? Hi, Miss Kylie. Remember, this is from the Bible. And what do we know about the Bible? The Bible is true and the Bible is right. All right, let's go over our new memory verse. So it says, let your light shine before others. Matthew 5, 16. All right, let's go over the motions. So we start with our light in the middle. We're going to bend our knees and then burst out for shine. Then we'll make our hands like the Bible for Matthew 5, 16. All right, let's try it all together. Let your light shine before others. Matthew 5, 16. That was great. One more time. Let your light shine before others. Matthew 5, 16. Awesome job, guys. That's so much fun. I'm glad we get to learn Jesus' words and we can be like a light and shine for everyone. Oh my goodness, that reminds me of a song. First I got reminded about our memory verse. Now I remember our song. Remember this little light of mine? I'm going to let it shine. It's familiar, but it's a little different. All right, let's say hi to Miss Cherie and Miss Stephanie. They're going to come to show us our song.
much fun to spend time singing songs to Jesus. I'm glad we get to do all that and stomping our feet and clapping and just letting everybody know that we want to shine the light of Jesus. So right now, I want you to reach up high and touch the sky. Reach down low and touch your toes. Reach up high and touch the sky. Reach on your face and touch your nose. Now everybody turn around and everybody sit down. Okay, are you ready? Let me see your ready fingers. Ready? One, two, three. God our Father, God our Father, we thank you, we thank you for our many blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right, great. Now you are ready for large group story time. Let's all say hi to Miss Stephanie from our Forney campus as she comes to tell us about somebody, remember, who wants to love other people. Hi, Miss Stephanie. Good morning, everybody. Today's story is I can show my love to others. This story comes from Luke 10 and Matthew 5. Today is Mother's Day, too. It's fun to do something nice for our moms on Mother's Day. What could you do for your mom? Maybe help her clean. How about help her with the dishes? Or even draw her a pretty picture. It's easy to do nice things for our moms because they love us so much. Today we're going to hear a story about some people that had a choice to either be nice or to be mean. Will they show their love to others? Let's find out. We're going to look in this book to hear about these people. Do you remember what this book is? That's right, it's the Bible. And remember, the Bible is God's word and the Bible is always true and the Bible is always right. Let's look in the book of Luke. We know Jesus told everyone things about God the Father. One day, Jesus was teaching, and a lawyer asked Jesus, what does a person have to do to have eternal life? Jesus asked the man, do you know what the law says? The lawyer said, we must love the Lord our God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. He also said we must love our neighbors as we love ourselves. Guess what? The lawyer was right. People should always love their neighbors and love the Lord their God. The lawyer's answer was correct. That's what the law said. But the lawyer had all these other questions. Who do I need to be nice to? And that's when Jesus had the story for them. There was a man traveling. He was on his way down the road, and some robbers jumped out and attacked him. They beat him up, and they took all of his stuff, even his clothes. The man was almost dead, and he really needed some help. Oh, look, there's a man coming to help. He's a priest. He works in the church. Surely he'll help the hurt man. Do you think he helped? No. He moved to the other side of the road and kept on walking. But wait, there's another man. He was a Levite, someone very, very important in the church. Do you think he helped the man? No, he didn't help the man. He moved over to the other side of the road and kept on walking. But wait, there's another man. Oh, no. It's a Samaritan. The Jews and the Samaritans did not get along. They were not nice to each other. It would be really bad if the Samaritan came over. <gasps> what? The Samaritan is coming over to help. <clears throat> the Samaritan saw the hurt man and he felt compassion. That means that he loved just like Jesus, and he wanted to help no matter who the man was. He cleaned the man's wounds, he bandaged him up, and guess what? He even put that man on his own donkey and took him to an inn to take care of him. The next day, 
he gave the innkeeper some money to keep taking care of the man until he was better. Jesus then asked the lawyer, who was the neighbor to the hurt man? Which one do you think it was? That's right. It was the Samaritan. We call him the good Samaritan. He had compassion on the hurt man. Since one man was a Jew and the other man was a Samaritan, they shouldn't even talk to each other. Those two kinds of people were normally mean to each other. It was different in Jesus' story, though, because Jesus taught that we should love everyone, even people who are not nice to us. Let's look really quickly in the book of Matthew. Jesus says, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. This means we are to love everyone, even those who are not nice to us. This will help us become more like Jesus, and we can show our love to others at any times and all times, like Jesus said. That's what the Good Samaritan did. He loved the Jewish man, even though they would have normally not loved each other. You can show love to others just like Jesus and just like the Good Samaritan. Let's pray together. Jesus, we thank you for telling us stories to help us understand things. Thank you for telling us about the Good Samaritan who helped the hurt Jewish man. He helped us to remember to live like you and show our love to everyone. We love you, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, let me ask you some questions now. What happened to the man traveling along the road? That's right. The robbers hurt him. Did the priest or the Levite stop to help the man? That's right. No. What did they do? They walked to the other side of the road and kept walking past the hurt man. Who stopped to help the hurt man? You got it. That's it, the Good Samaritan. Did the Good Samaritan have to help the man? No, he didn't. Why did the Good Samaritan help? That's right, he had compassion for the man just like Jesus. Are we supposed to be mean to others or love others? You got it. We're supposed to love others. All right, everybody. See you next time. Wow, Miss Stephanie, thank you so much. I'm so glad the Good Samaritan chose to do the right thing and he chose love. He showed compassion for the man who was hurt. I'm so glad we can do that too. We can love others. We've had such a great time today, and I want you to remember two things, all right? One, we want to live like Jesus and show our love to everyone. And two, you can start showing love by giving your mommy another great big hug and telling her Happy Mother's Day. Now, here's a video of some of our friends with a little Mother's Day message. Y'all have a great day. Bye. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, hi, hi, Mommy. You're the best mother ever. Hi, Dad. Happy hi, Mother's, Dad. Mother's Day. Hi, Dad. Have a Mother's Day, Dad. I love you, Mama. Happy Mother's Day. Mother's Day. We love you. You're the best mom. You're the best mom ever. You're the best mom ever. Love you. I love you.
Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, and you beautiful. Hey, Sea Life Preschool. We want to wish all you awesome moms a happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. And Mother's Day. Three. Happy Mother's Day. And um, Happy Mother's Day. I love you. Bye. Happy Mother's Day. Two, three, go. Happy Mother's happy Day. Day. I love you. I love you. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you.